For a startup, the first thing to do to really grow fast is to conquer other markets. The first market you want to enter is not America or Silicon Valley. It's your neighbor, uh, neighbor countries. We've asked 12 cities from Europe to join us and, and to exchange knowledge about uh, what they are doing in their cities and how we can help startups to scale to other markets. I'm representing Barcelona Activa, which is the development agency from the City Council of Barcelona. Lisbon is a great city to live. We have a great talented people. We work quite actively with the startup scene of Stockholm to help them out with different questions. Oslo has to offer that it's a new and vibrant city, very, very digital. Uh, we have Europe's largest and most complex uh, tech clusters, but we only do well because of inputs from around Europe and elsewhere in the world. Those are the startups, the Belgian startups, that raised over one million in funding last year alone. We can help our startups evolve to a certain point, but after that, they need to grow out of Helsinki. We have a clear asset, which is a huge number of students. So Rome is the largest city campus in Europe. I work a lot with uh, startups from Berlin, but also with international startups who might want to set up an office. There is a really a startup revolution uh, in Paris, and this, uh, this really boiling ecosystem has to be connected with the other European ones. We are going to help stakeholders grow. So we are not going to be the consultant. We act as a real investor. We should join forces and that's what scale is about and that's why all the people from these cities came today. Uh, when it comes to a startup they grow city by city into Europe onto the world. We must create the city to city uh, connections. I think London has a lot to offer as a tech cluster. I know that other cities in Europe have the same or similar kind of offers. We benefit greatly because we get in touch with companies and stakeholders and partners that are good for London. Likewise, I want to offer up London's connections and, and offers to uh, partner cities around Europe as well. I think every city has this question like, hey, what is our vision? What is the ambition? How do we do compared with other cities? I think it's not only learn from each other, but really connect aspects and items and public-private partnerships within our ecosystems. So I think it's really interesting to get to know colleagues that are doing the th same things in other cities. This event is an excellent way of us uh, seeing that, uh, what kind of network we have around Europe. I really believe what works well in Europe is to focus on city-to-city -city relationships rather than state-to-state. -state. I find that it moves a bit faster. I think we understand each other better. The attractiveness factor for Europe in comparison to the other continents, I think that uh, maybe it's quite a, a mature market. I hope in five years Europe will have more startups that have been acquired uh, by corporations. We will see a lot more of these uh, specialized hubs around, across the Europe and then this kind of collaboration between them which, which would be kind of a, a real asset in a global competition. It's really vital to facilitate the circulation of startups. It has to be easy for them to go from one place to another one. I think that the Europeans, they have an entrepreneurial spirit. They have a, really a taste for, for, for tech and for new, uh, new things. Uh, so I, I'm very positive, very optimistic.